Coach Ash when he was here and um, his replacement, Greg Schiano. What impact has he had so far this year? Um, you know, we, we still run the same defense, so uh, schematic-wise, we haven't changed anything. But um, as far as his mentality, uh, he has more of a, you know, he puts a high emphasis on takeaways, um, as you can see in the first three games. But, you know, um, they're both great coaches. As far as finding the ball, like turning around to find the ball, just in what ways? Um, so I'm sure Coach Ash wanted to get uh, turnovers as well. Just in what ways does Coach Ciano emphasize forcing turnovers? You know, uh, his first time ever talking to the defense, first thing he, he said was, you know, he counted um, how many players in a room he think can go first round. Um, so after he said that, he said, we have the ability to be a good defense, but he wants us to be a smothering defense, you know, and he don't want to just stop people. He want to get takeaways. And that was the first thing he said to the defense. And after this point in the season, that's what we've been doing. But, you know, we're nowhere near where we need to be. Chris, is it a discussion to not only get those takeaways, but then convert them directly to points? Is that, is that, do you guys talk about that part of the equation as well? Yeah, we're, we're never satisfied with just getting a sack. Uh, or getting a sack fumble or getting an interception. Um, the goal is once we make the play, to make it an even better play, go score, you know? Um, so that is an emphasis, but at the end of the day, we still have to play. Taekwon was talking about you guys just have the one play then as a sideline return. Is that is that right? What are the responsibilities on it? Well, the, the person who ever gets the turnover uh, and recovers it, you know, hit the near sideline and then go as fast as you can and everyone else pick up a block. Uh, if it's an interception, they'll block the intended receiver first and just go from there. I mean, most most plays you call before, but this one is kind of on the fly. Like, how does that work? Like, do you have to yell out to other teammates, hey, we're in sideline return? No, um, a big thing of the defense um, and football in general is just awareness. So we never play to, to stop. We always play through the whistle. Mm -hmm. So uh, everyone on the defense should be playing through the, the play. So um, once we see it, then everyone just react to no, no play. Nine games in a row now, Big Ten football, um, with the bye week over. How does that, does Big Ten change anything mentality-wise for you guys? Uh, what does it mean, I guess, uh, to be starting Big Ten? Um, well, Big Ten, that's the real deal. Um, it's a lot of good teams. In the Big Ten right now, you know, uh, one of the strongest conference, if not the strongest conference as of right now. You know, we got a lot of good teams to play, so, you know, it's going to be a, a long journey. Chris, did, uh, did Coach Ash make you personally a better tackler? I mean, <clears throat> with that change you guys made, you know, to the rugby style and things like that, how did it specifically help you as a tackler? Um, it's the, the greatest way of tackling. Uh, in the game of football today. You know, um, the old way of tackling was, it had a lot of wrinkles in it, especially with the talent that's been um, growing each year in football at every level. Um, so yeah, it, it helped me, but it helped, you know, not just me, it helped everyone that's come through this, mm -hmm. you know, this team that played defense. And what is the key to it? I mean, as you, as you go in for a tackle, what, what is the key you have in your mind now that you didn't have five years ago as a football player? Uh, well. For me personally, I used to always just try to go for the big hit. Yeah. You know, so um, I missed a few tackles, but Coach Fick used to tell me like you can't get the big hit every time. You know, there's times where you can, and even then, you know, with the whole targeting rule, you still have to take a good hit. So um, just knowing when I can take those shots and when I can't, and being comfortable tackling in a way um, has helped me a tremendous amount. Hey, Jerome Baker going from your backup to going over the starting at Will while uh, Dante was out. How tough is that to go from one outside backer spot to the other? Is that a real difficult adjustment, or do you think you know, playing linebacker is playing linebacker? Uh, well, there's, you know, Coach Fick's motto is um, the Sam and Will is interchangeable. Um, we have the same base, you know, fundamentals, you know, whether you're outside the box or inside the box. Uh, for Sam and Will, whether he's walk or not. So um, there are some minor changes when you do play Will, but the base principles were, are, are the same. So it wasn't 
that difficult of a task, you know, just getting comfortable playing inside of the box as often, you know, but uh, Jerome's a great player, so it wasn't that hard. What did you see from him? I know everybody talks about the pick six, but other than that, what did you see from Jerome against Oklahoma and even the previous game? Um, seeing someone that's not scared to put their their nose in there, you know, the box can get tricky sometimes, <laughs> but uh, we all knew Jerome could, could play. That, that wasn't the problem. I mean, we got tremendous amount of talent on his team. Um, but, you know, that was the biggest thing, just seeing him take on those blocks and, you know, have fun out there playing. Hey, Chris, Urban said you guys have had to make some adjustments in terms of signaling in and whatnot because Chris obviously knows what you're going to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> Taekwon said it's no big deal. Is it like learning a few words in German and then translating them into French? Or, I mean, what's... What's the metaphor there that we can use? You know, we don't run a lot of plays, so it's not overly complicated, you know, but... Uh, Pretty basic. Yeah. Basic, <laughs> basic, basic defense, basic signal caller, basic coaches. I guess you can say all that. But, uh, I didn't uh, say all that, just for the record. <laughs> you know, but uh, there's, it's, not, it's not that hard. You learn, you know, maybe 10 new things. It's not that difficult. You were a mention a little bit ago that uh, you guys you know, you're obviously playing well, but you're not where you need to be. When you guys look, when you look at yourself on film, because you had some impressive numbers, where can this defense get better? Where do you see it need to grow over the next uh, few months of the season? Uh, fundamentals, you know, the biggest thing. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone can't look for their big play. You know, uh, there was a time in the game where, an Oklahoma game, I can recall, where you know we had perfect perfect setup for defense. You know, they try to do like a reverse or something. And me, Damon, uh, Raekwon, you know, we just start chasing after the reverse and they end up not even doing the reverse and just keeping it in a game about 30 yards. You know, little things like that are like fundamentals like inside of the box. You know, uh, I remember Jerome had like a crossover inside the box and Coach Fick hates that. You know? So he's just going off like, yeah, you, you play good, but your fundamentals wasn't as good. You know, and, and every position had, you know, some fundamental mistakes. And that's what we're the biggest on, on defense is fundamentals. You know, so we get a lot better with fundamentals and just doing our job. So, Chris, we were talking about the, the defensive scores for you guys. So the def your defense has scored four touchdowns and opposing offenses have scored two touchdowns against you. Can you, over the course of a season, outscore opposing offenses? Could you keep this up that's for the a whole goal. year? That's the goal. Is that a real goal? If, yeah, I mean, if you, if you do that, we won't lose a game, <laughs> technically speaking. But, uh, <laughs> you know, our, our, our job is to outplay you know, the other defense. So whoever we're playing, if our defense outplays their defense, uh, okay. technically speaking, we should win a game. So. Are the fellows who've scored touchdowns held in a higher esteem in the meeting room? I mean, how are they treated, uh, the guys I mean, who've scored those four? I mean, Coach Fitt likes to put everyone together, so no yeah. one's treated different, you know, if they score, you know. But uh, if anything, it gets harder for them. You know, Coach Fick. <laughs> Coach Fick is, is a guy. You just say that. Yeah, great. Uh, Chris, thank you very much, buddy. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris.